at what point did you say, hey, I want to do this professionally? Well, I only turned pro the beginning of last year, okay. uh, so the start of 2023. Um, obviously, I was playing for a while before that, but still doing rugby. I was working, um, a personal trainer, so I was in the gym a lot. Um, and it was only, let's say, 2022 where I started to take it a bit more serious. I went to Madrid for a couple of months just to get some training, um, played a, an, an odd professional tournament, like a, a fifth. Um, got a bit of a taste for it and then that's where things started growing in the UK and it kind of become more of a reality and a possibility to turn pro um, until then it was more a hobby and then yeah I just thought you know what I'm still young I'm only 21 so so let's go for it and um, yeah I decided to turn pro at the start of last year. How did the PPL happen? Who contacted you? How did that happen there? Well I applied for the first year that it happened as well Okay. Um, you know as soon as it happened it looked like a really cool event something I want to be part of so I applied for the first year didn't get picked the first year so for the second year I was like well try again let's see what happens <laughs> um, obviously I knew it was going to be a bit bigger so it was probably a little bit harder to get in so expectations weren't too high but um, once I got picked by Stingers, I was super chuffed. Like, well, so, go, baby. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. so excited, and, right? And, and how does it play? How does it feel, you know, playing with the Lampertis and, and the super super stars of Tattle yeah. in that team? It's crazy. It's surreal. I mean, look, I'm sweating because we just finished <laughs> training now. Um, so just playing a few sets against them, you know, him and Maxi. Obviously, they're two legends of the sport. So for me, it's um, it's an honor to train with them and be part and, and just learn, just being around them in tournaments, watching them play, what they do before the matches, how they talk. Um, yeah, it's just an honor to be part So have you been here in the US before, uh, especially Miami? It's my first time for both. First yeah, time. never been to the States, never been to Miami. So, so what um, do you think? You see tons of things on TV and stuff like that. What do you think do about you know Miami? What? It's just like the movies, to be honest. <laughs> it's exactly like the movies. It's like, I feel like you watch films, you're like, oh yeah, it's cool. But it's literally exactly what it looks like. So what do you think about the PPL, the format, and obviously the, the level? I mean, the level is incredibly high this year. Um, you know, like I said, I, I was watching a little bit of, of the first year. It was good level, but I think this is just crazy right. and you know how many top top players there are in each team is, is unbelievable so let me ask one thing what do you think about ultra club massive to start yeah. is, is massive but um really nice club really really nice club. have you gone to any other clubs here in miami because there's We've a lot of clubs a couple we went to winwood um, okay. which i heard was like one of the first clubs yeah. in miami. Yeah. that yeah. was nice um yeah. that was pretty cool uh, i think that was it we've driven past a few clubs in the area where the hotel is there's a few i think paddle x is the new one yeah, yeah. just haven't been in there but went there we had a quick look at reserve paddle we went there the other day yep. um we couldn't play it was it rained that was the, the day that it rained the night before so which one the one on, on watson island or the one in design district you know oh, i'm not too sure i wouldn't wouldn't be able to tell did you, you have to cross that bridge it was right by the water right yeah yeah, okay. the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so um, tell us who's in the stingrays uh team so for our viewers and listeners to know yeah so there's myself you got miguel who just walked in you got maxi you got jacobo blanco and then the girls you got uh, lucia marta brit um we've also got a couple of players that aren't here i think matty um so yeah we, we got a good team yeah. that's fantastic and so where do you train in madrid so you said you're marbella yeah but you train there you 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 you're part of a club there or currently i'm in alicante so i've always lived in marbella okay. um, but since last june i moved to alicante that's essentially like the uk base for international um training let's say so the uk players but yeah so living there and, and training in the and Jordi Munoz. it seems a lot of players that they, they they train and they live in alicante why is alicante yeah. such a big paddle place um for me personally i think the lifestyle is lovely yeah. um it's just really easy it's just not too big so clubs are close you've got everything around you you know you're near the beach it's good weather as well it doesn't rain much um it's warm pretty much throughout the year so I think in terms of lifestyle, it makes everything so easy. And there's just so many players that are from there. And do you have a coach? Yeah, Jordi Munoz. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we train at his academy. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So what's yeah. next after the PPL for you? Yeah. Well, after these two weeks, I'll be straight back there to, um, to training. Um, and then I've got a few tournaments, got like a UK tournament upcoming. And then it'll be a big focus on, on flip events. So how is the level in UK? It's growing, it's growing. Um, it's pretty decent. A lot of the players are, you know, are still kind of tennis players or ex-tennis players. Um, and a lot of us live abroad. So a lot of the national team players live abroad right now or used to. Um, but now they're slowly starting to get more players that, you know, completely British or that haven't played tennis. It's just purely growing. So um, yeah, it's getting there. So it's a growing there in Great Britain? Absolutely. Over the last kind of two, three years, especially this year, last year, um, it's growing massively. Yeah, you know how, it's you know, like doubled per year. Do you know how many clubs they have and what, what area is it really growing the most? In London is where it's mostly concentrated. Okay. That's where the, the kind of hub for, for Paddle is. But it's slowly kind of going up further north to the south, um, different places. 
Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how many clubs exactly, but I do know, I think we're around some like 400 courts or plus. Um, it doubled within like, within two years. That's great. So, and how about in Wales? In Wales, it's a little bit slower. I think we have two clubs at the moment um, that I'm aware of. We just opened a new one in Swansea, um, which is great. And I think we've got one more uh, elsewhere, but yeah. I need to try and get a few more courts here, a few more clubs, so I can, um, you know, hopefully get a tournament sorted out there. So, from your playing point of view, so what would you say is your trademark shot? Definitely the smash. I the think. smash. Yeah, yeah, definitely the smash. Yeah, definitely. The smash. <laughs> I can see coming from rugby and your strength. Yeah, I, I got can the see power. That. That's the power. There's probably not much else, but we got we got some power. Yeah. What well, would you would say is your wicket that you need to work on? Probably anything kind of lower. Let's say any like low ball things like that. The opposite. Of, and yeah. Stuff like that, yeah. Um, and defense. Huh? You took exactly. Yeah. That, I think that's. The most common weakness of anyone's strength is power at the net. Then you usually tend to suffer a little bit more at the back. Yeah. So who's who's your favorite player? Who do you who do you, who do you watch and say, oh, and, and got you motivated, inspired to, to play paddle? It, it is tough. There's so many good players. I think it's hard to say who. And obviously, everyone's got kind of their own style, right? The the different. The style. first one. The first one. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's always one. The first yeah, one. Yeah. Right? But do you know what? If I'm honest. Yeah. Not just a, a basic answer because he's known as the best, but I think Bella, the, the thing I like the most is, I think he's been the most consistent in terms of attitude, mentality. Yeah. He's not really up and down. Um, I think, yeah, his kind of mindset is probably what I like the most. What are your targets for 2024 and, and, and beyond? I mean, are you trying to be a top 100, top 50? What, what, are, what are your goals? Yeah, well, at the moment, in terms of where my ranking is, I'm not trying to get that high within one year. Um, you know, the level's high. It's not that easy to get that many points in within yeah. a year. Um, so my goal is to try and be somewhere between uh, within the top 200 players for this year and then obviously the following year then to increase. But I think with how many players there are and the levels increasing, um, that's my goal for this year. So what is it going to take for San Diego to win next week's uh, tournament? We're going to do it. We're just going to do it. We're going to get it done. Um, you know, we had some tough matches this week. Very close ones in super tie breaks, tie breaks. Mainly the boys playing Maxi and Miguel. Um, you know, they're doing a great effort, especially Maxi, you know, with them being both backhand players, he's been playing on the forehand. That's right. So That's they've right. been doing really well to compete against these guys, you know, especially him on, on the opposite side. Um, you know, like I said, they're playing against some of the best in the world, you know, yeah. Tapia, John Sands, yeah. all these players, it's, yeah. it's crazy. So, you know, they're competing against everybody. We've had a few ones where it just quite hasn't fallen. For us, um, but you know, we're feeling good, they're playing well, so I think um, this week we've got a, a great chance.